Tucker out there. Watch for a hard cut, yeah. huh, Matt? Try yeah. to draw him offside. Yeah, knees to. No. Nope. Yeah, how about that? The nope. kicker back up putter hands it off wow. and a first down. Yerby, the big gain on fourth and one. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, I mean, they're, they're aggressive first series. You know, they do want to establish that run, but this is a nice play call. They actually go with the quick count, coach, catch them off guard, and they get a big first down. Yeah, you, boy, that's exciting. I, I know the Miami players, and when, a, when the head coach does that. Kaya with three completions to three different receivers. Kaya's going to run it and then slings it a little tall, pulled in by Lewis. Oh, the old rich. Away from him yet. We will get to him momentarily. And our rules official, Mike Pereira, with you tonight. Another handoff, and we've got a touchdown. Mark Walton barrels in from the four. That's their up 7-0. The Owls offense on the field for the first time when we return here on FS1. To the ground go the Owls, and maybe back to the line. Boom, where, where you don't incur an injury. Second and eight. Delayed handoff. Big hole up the middle. Across midfield. And Yerby continues close to the 30 when he's finally dragged out of bounds by Craven LeBlanc. Yeah, this was just a design uh, running back draw play. Brad Kai with a nice fake. They actually catch uh, Florida Atlantic in a cross blitz right there, and there's a huge hole. Great job by the offense alignment. And then this is what he does. He just goes out and makes plays. A tremendous, tremendous big play for Miami in this one. When you run that cross blitz, what some... Over the middle. Complete. Yerby makes another tackler miss. Inside the five and muscles his way in for the score. The, the receiver gets inside the linebacker, underneath him, right there. Number number two obviously gets under 34. Matt, easier throw, you know? Yeah, and Brad Kai did a great job knowing the, the coverage he was going to get. His run. Hand off. First down, Miami. Yerb still lost in overtime. This backs them up. First and 19, Driscoll. Risky. Completion to 10 yards on 10 carries, but it is third and 16 from the 11. And they play it safe. Warren breaks it, and Warren has a first down. Coughed it up at the end. Loose ball with Kane scoop it. Dallas Crawford has it. And he's still on his feet and finally pushed out inside the 25. How about that for a chain of uh, events? It was a hit and a half laid on Warren. See who causes the fumble. That is Warren still down. Leveled by number six, Jamal Carter, the junior from Homestead. Yeah, it looks like he hit him, you know, up under the chin and possibly could have knocked him out or. Emmy with the ball right now after the turnover. First and 10 from the 23. Kai of a give to Yerby, and Yerby! Three, under three to go here in the half. Keep it. Driscoll avoids the rush, and then is finally taken down. Thought he had a window to unload it, but Dion Bush, the senior from Miami, with the sack. I like the play call, you know, getting Driscoll outside the pocket. They wanted to look for the guy in the flat right there. Miami does a great job of covering the route downfield, and, and Driscoll just trying to make a play, but that was an excellent job on a third down stop for Miami's defense. You know, the, the, the aggressive play call yeah. again, Matt. You know, Tusher, as, as Matt said, you're going to be one on one, you got to make the tackle. Down goes Driscoll there. Yeah, again on that one, they're faking the bubble screen and trying to take a shot over the top. Uh, the Miami secondary doesn't f uh, fall for it. And here, Driscoll really does a great job just protecting the football right there. Kaya, the man is right shoulder, gets it off. Complete, Yerby, down at about the two. Great, great play, huh, Matt? Yeah. Great. Under, you're talking about under pressure now. 
I mean, great poise. He's got a guy draped on, on his neck right there and just throws a nice, accurate throw, puts a little loft on it where Yerby can make a play. Boy, that's, tre that's tremendous poise in the pocket from Brad Kaya. Remember, we talked earlier, the running back got underneath the linebacker. That's exactly what happens here. Yerby might have a 100-100 game, two receptions for 86 yards, and he's already rushed it for 115. First and goal from the one. Touchdown, Miami. Her has been pushed back. Loose ball, still loose, picked up again by Miami. Third turnover on the night. And again, it is deep in FAU territory where Miami recovers. Yeah, third, third one inside the 50, inside the 40. Tough to win doing that. Matt. Yeah, you just, anytime you lose a turnover battle, especially like this, you just continue to give them great field position. Uh, it's just going to come back and hurt you. Ryan Mays finally recovering it, the redshirt freshman. Played his ball at Miami Northwestern. Turnovers and penalties. Jacquez Johnson, the starter. Ankle injury in the first quarter. Driscoll, been very impressive. Lobs this one, that looked awkward. I think he was hit as he threw it in an interception. Make that four turnovers now. Miami with another chance to try and put a dagger in the owls here. Looks Miami brings a little pressure. The running back picks him up, but Driscoll doesn't have a chance to set his feet. Tough throw. He's got to protect the football right there, especially the way this game. Yerby, the reception in the first down inside the 30. There's a freshman for me. Biggest problem I always had was protection on the blitz. And Waters breaks the tackle inside the 10. Waters flipped over, lands at about the one. I like this throw from back high. It shows off the arm strength, throws a deep hitch across the football field. But Herb Waters just does everything right here, makes a move. Uh, miss it, makes the defender miss and gets a great first, uh, a great play for Miami. Miami's got to punch it in here. Fullback. Gage batting in to block for Walton. There you go. They fumble it. Loose ball. Walton oh. has it and a touchdown. All the breaks going Miami's way. I like the play call. Come right back, run the ball. Oh, he kind of trips over his own blocker right there. That's when he, the ball came out. What was uh, Clinton Portis's tweet, right? The football gods? Yeah. <laughs> the ball. Yeah, they're poking on later today. Yes, later today on Fox Sports 1. The handoff to Yerby. Yerby already over 100 yards, and Yerby's going to tack on a lot more on this. Across the 40. And there's nothing special about this play. I mean, it's just an outside zone, and really Florida Atlantic's defense, they're just tired. You know, they can't make this play. They've been on the field a lot in this second half, and Joe Yerby's having a game, guys. I mean, he's a tremendous, tremendous prospect for this Miami team. You know, there's never a run over 40. Second and 22. Kaya going deep here. And caught. Waters with the grab. And just when we say they don't go deep, yeah, make a play, <laughs> throw it up. Down and, uh, you know, Brad Kai, again, tremendous poise in the pocket, great feet. Uh, he's, uh, he's able to avoid the rush right here. I love this because he keeps his eyes downfield, and then his receiver just makes a great play. You know, sometimes you got a receiver with that kind of height and ability. You throw it up and let him go make a play. Waters playing the slot this week due to an injury to Coley. Another reception. Three from the four. Walton, Walton's second effort will be enough. He might even get in, and he does. I like him for a freshman. 5'10", 195. Walton's third touchdown on the ground tonight. Bounces it outside. You know, Al talked about finishing. This is finishing. Look at that big offensive line in there. Pushing, shoving. Everybody playing to the whistle.
the football. Driscoll came out smoking. Really impressed us coming in cold off the bench for Jacquez Johnson. Lobs that one up and in and out. And then I believe that was picked. Yep, and that Artie Burns, the junior from Miami. And that's him just trying to make a play. It's actually a great ball. Puts it right there. And again, the ball is just bouncing Miami's way all night. Before that throw, Driscoll really only. Yeah, and they're gonna we're gonna find out what they're all about the next five weeks. Rozier. Ooh, found a little window there to sneak that one in.